Hello and welcome my beautiful phantom audience to yet another rather mind-bendingly improbable love I well no improbable is, I'll say that one for later mind-bendingly whispery lo-fi little stream hello everybody are you guys ready for another delightful day of <laughs> racing lagoon <laughs> This game, I swear, I was like, I got some potatoes. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm mashed potatoes. I'm, I'm just eating a quick, uh, breakfast. Mmm. Wow, that was fast. Welcome to the stream, whatever your agreeable work. I hope that, I hope that possibly you weren't actually a bot. And that you are actually a person who may fall in love with me. <laughs> like everybody should. <laughs> uh, maybe if you're not a bot, maybe someday you'll come to be an actual viewer of my channel. But until then, you're banned. Sorry. Anyway. This game is quite... <clears throat> White nuts. <laughs> very, 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 very incredible. As in, like, the actual, like, classical definition is that I can't believe this. I can't believe any of this is happening. I'm very excited to see how it progresses, how it keeps going, because so far, it's, it's really ramping up into insanity. The, we, we are currently, and kind of literally actually but it's not just like like it's actually oh my god so apparently there's a ghost apparently there's a ghost that is that is driving us and our driving us and our friends insane in um, causing basically causing its victims to pursue ever increasing values of fast until they basically drive themselves off of a bridge sometimes literally so let's see i'm gonna bring the game up Let's see. No, 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 no. Wrong, wrong, uh, totally legitimate system. Sorry. Gotta get this, uh, plugged in. <laughs> Let's see. All right. All right. All right, I should still have it perfect. It's still calibrated correctly. Are you guys ready? We're jumping back into Racing Lagoon. It takes it just a few seconds, about 20 seconds usually, for the game to actually start running. We'll uh, watch the opening intro, as we always do on this channel. Hmm. I place a lot of value in intro cutscenes. They're very important to me. Is it it's so calm and relaxing? It doesn't it really just like give you the wrong idea of what this game is gonna be about. It's like, oh, this is gonna be an initial D video game. This is gonna be a video game version of initial D. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm gonna get to play with all my racing archetypes. 
and totally like blast down the street. Oh, so by the way, Rabbit, you're definitely on now, but I guess I just assumed that you had already left before when we started. It's really great to see you, and I hope you have a great ride. I hope you enjoy. And hello, <laughs> I want to say hi as well. I hope you enjoy wherever you're going. And I'm looking forward to seeing you next stream, baby. All right, Racing Lagoon. All right, I got to pull it back up. Ugh. Bah humbug. Don't worry, I won't make you sit through the whole thing again. There we go. Okay! Are you guys ready? I hope, I sure hope so. Because today, we're heading into the racing experience. I actually do not remember where I am here. If I'm being perfectly honest, I don't remember where I am. Um, I think I'm in the middle of checking out events, though. If I had to guess, I think I'm in the middle of... That sounds like... Dialogue. No. Oh, right, I'm in South Yokohama. North Yokohama. Okay. I straight up do not remember what I'm doing. Um... So let's, let's go to the various, I want to go to the various events then and check out the different things that we can do. I do want to go do the pickup chicane, which I know is like everybody's least favorite thing about this game, but like, I actually kind of enjoy it. I really enjoy how tricky it is and how precise the movements are. You guys know me. Love me some precise movements. This is just going to be the taxi fare guy. Give me a lift. Get out of my car. Also, I thought he looked different, but maybe not. I don't know. Um, I want to go look at the wand tech tower because I think I haven't looked at the wand tech tower tonight. So yeah, for anybody, the wand tech building. Maybe I have, they freak out about, I just want to rest. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I have. I think those are the guys that get hassled to to Diablo tune their cars. I don't quite remember the dirt course, perhaps. You there ever wanted to get in on some dirty action? Then come race on our rally course. Enjoy a muddy off road race right here in the city. Ooh, that sounds fun. Are you trying to keep your car clean? Well, then we don't want ya. Let's get dirty. Um, yeah, sure. There's no penalty if you're doing the UOR. The U U O R. Hmm. Oh, the eight turbo class. Oh, how's he was saying eight total tur tur turbos and superchargers required? How's he was saying that I really wanted that I really needed to do this? Problem is, hmm, wasn't there a, I could have sworn there was a, the Venus and Mars, the twins. Right, the highway! Oh my god, the highway. Ugh. I completely forgot about the highway. Alright, so... I just remember what happened last dream. In case anybody was curious, we basically got access to this extremely supercharged hyperhighway where everybody's driving real fast all the time because it's, you know, it's an interstate, effectively. For any American viewers, it, for any, uh... Uh, any viewers from the, 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 the colonies, for many viewers from the states, it's, um, 
it's like an interstate and um it is really obnoxious it's a bit it's a bit frustrating to deal with because the thing is is that normally you can um you can just flash your high beams at people i think i'm gonna ignore the ors for now Normally, you can just flash your high beams at people to get to race them. And if they flash your high beams at you, they you have to race them. It's like Wild Encounters. Um, Because, see, that car doesn't have its high beams on, but some cars have their high beams on, and if you run into them, like that one, you have to fight immediately. And um, there's the pickup chicane. Hey, no cutting in line! All right, all right, all right. Um, you have to fight them immediately. Hmm, barely missed it. What's Queen's X? Acres? A pair of rock and 32. Right, right, we saw this. We saw this. About the pickup chicane. A pair of pro racing ladies. I wonder what they're like. Alright, so let's go talk to the pro racing ladies at the pickup chicane. I was trying to press the button. <laughs> mm. All right, time for the pickup chicane. I've never seen so many smoking hot babes. Uh, here I go. <laughs> I'll take up on the. I'll take on the pickup chicane. A little fun every now and again never hurts, considering that I'm currently being haunted by the ghost of a dead racer who's trying to get me to kill all my friends. Hate to break it to you, townie, but I was here first. This is where all the single men hang out? Oh, it's the Sheena sisters! Please take my heart away! Or, I mean... Oh. Well, that was wicked easy. The chicane pays out. She thought this was easy? Yeah, because it is. You big baby. See, like this. Dang it. Dang it, dang it. Oh, and I got the first turn good too. What just happened? Um, hey, Ether. <laughs> um, the... The sisters did the pickup chicane. Ugh. Dang it, I, I managed to get it the first try, and now I'm, it's going to take me like 30 tries to get it right again. Alright. Okay, this... <laughs> Alright, so how this works, <laughs> for anybody who's curious, I thought we would just start off with this. Just to make things... Oh, God. Dang, what... My my turn my turns are usually really good there. For anybody who's wondering what happens, this is a what's happening. This is a weird overworld mini game where you have to take these turns at specific speeds and like distances in order to get the 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 grand prize, which is the heart of blonde girl. Dang it! Ah. So close. No! Oh, come on! You have to get all five of them perfect. You have to get all five of them blonde girl in order to... In order to, um... Get the grand prize. That wasn't even remotely good. And apparently the, she the, the Sheena sisters are trying to go for, um... are trying to go for it too and get guy win the heart of guys. I don't know. This is by far... The, the main issue is that this is by far one of the worst parts of the whole game if you don't have, um, a magical time-traveling PS2 like I do. PS1, sorry, this is a PS1 game. If you don't have a magical time-traveling PS1 like I do, Oh no. And even even with even with one, it's still very, 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 very difficult. Ciao, <laughs> you! 
How you doing? Yeah! What do you mean? What do you mean? Why did it change at the last possible second? No, I'm not okay. I'm not. I'm not okay with that. No, dang it. <laughs> Hello, Bella Bear. How are all you guys doing? Dang it. <laughs> this is so awful. Catfish. <laughs> ah, all right. How are all you guys doing? You ready for some high intensity racing lagoon action? Dang it. Oh. The problem is I can't, unless I map a button, Hold on. Just playing Strawberry Jam? Cool! Uh, if you don't mind, don't tell me too much about it, because I would very much like to stay still, um, very blind for the rest of the playthrough. Hmm. How did I... Where's my controller? Huh. Okay. Weird. If I remember right now is that Running in the 90s! Heck yeah, viral! This is basically, um... This is basically Initial D, the video game, until, like, recently, I'm gonna be honest. I wanna see if I can get these turns. Oh, good. Okay, so... That's good. I think the issue is that I bumped into the wall at the very end, even after I was past the turn, so... Nope, that was too wide. Dang it. Okay, so I'm managing to get blonde haired girl for the first one, which was my main sticking point last time. Oh my God, this is, this is a, <laughs> this is a very difficult challenge. Nope, too wide, dang it. I gotta slow, I guess I gotta slow down for that or take, take the outside curve. At least I'm getting better at doing the, doing the first turn. Yeah, this is called the pickup chicane. The reason they use girls' pick portraits for this is because you're actually, like, these turns are actually winning the affections of these particular women, which is an interesting concept. All I remember right now is that Granny's driveway did me in about 60 times. Wow. Yeah, it's all about, yeah, that one is super easy. That last bit is like super duper easy because for some reason it's it seems more lenient on that last turn. Ha ha! Yeah! These people are taking racing life a bit too serious. Racing is life a bit too seriously. Yeah, that's the whole game. In case you haven't seen any of the other playthroughs, my heart is a flutter. Take me away, you hunk. By the way, do you know anything about those last two? They came to shop, so I told them about the queen's eggs. Uh-huh. Did you come here to chase after them? <laughs> yeah! Give me a prize. Give me a prize! Father told me to stop coming here, but I couldn't resist. I've got nowhere to go tonight. Please accept this. I'd be happy if you used it. Decal Junjo. Where have I seen this before? What? Yeah, the whole game is racing as life is being taken a bit too seriously. That's a very good, that's a very good cat tagline for the, for the game either. All right, well, now that we're done with that. <laughs> Flawless. Now, just in case I accidentally press F3, I'm going to quick save after that so that I don't accidentally, I mean, 
a special button on my remote racing lagoon. Speed is life. So true. Let's head to the Queen a Queen's Aches again. Even though we've already been here. Oh, so we did have to do the pickup chicane first. Would you look at that? And hi, I'm so really busy with unpacking, so I have to force myself to just look, unfortunately. Oh, but I'm looking forward to having a Sunday soon where I can just relax and watch the stream. Aw, me too. <laughs> Anything stand out to you? <laughs> but I'm glad you're, I'm glad you're unpacking. I've had a few moves where I just like ignore my boxes for months. <laughs> so. It's super cool that you're actually, you know, being an adult. <laughs> Anything stand out to you? Yeah, you clocked that wicked fast car? The white one from the highway? That one made the trip out here worth it. I ain't going back till I beat that white comet. Hey, user! Use are two lovely ladies! How about introducing yourselves, sir? Since we're- oh my god! Oh, oh my- oh my god! Dude, dude! Oh, oh no! Oh god, they've been hearing characteristic of me! <laughs> Character growth! Woohoo! Wobbleman! I know this guy- Wobbleman! It's Wobbleman! It's very wobble! Man's tipping over like the Tower of Pisa. He really is. Since when you start talking with a Kansai accent? They're the undefeated Sheena sisters of the West RR. The older ones, Kyoka, cool it. <sighs> God, I got something stuck in my throat. The older ones, Kyoka, cool and collected behind the wheel. And her little sister is Haruka. She likes collecting team decals on the side. They've got a rep for making men cry. They can make me cry. Hey, what do you know? Looks like we're famous out here. Still chewing the gum. Yeah, but these guys are creeping me out. Let's chat. Let's chat. Lol, the plan is circumvent the attack that destroyed me. Is it really? You went in. Uh, yeah, actually, I am. I just completed the pickup chicane again, which is by far the most initially traditionally annoying. Uh, in terms of traditional gameplay, it's the most annoying part of this whole game. Um, because you don't have access to time machine. This man is wobbling a disconcerting bell. Let's get out of here. <laughs> yeah, this man's wobbling too much. Let's get out of here. Oh, God. All right, so... Come on, girl. Let's skedaddle. Hey, talk to me. I'm gonna merge into your car. Can we get a single minute to shop in peace? These men are no good. I don't want a pretty face with a slow car. You're lucky we aren't in melee combat right now. Wobbling is illegal, you know. <gasps> Drew. Hash one, Annika. But I gotta say, I don't disagree. I love their accents. Still chewing the gum. Um, did I check out Landmark Tower? I don't remember. Yeah, that guy, that guy was a bit with the Diablo Toon Shop. Could it really be around here? No, no, wait, hold on. They don't want me to track down the Diablo Toon Shop, do they? That would be really, 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 really irresponsible of me to... Diablo tune my baby. And I would be very upset if they forced me to do that. Um I I don't know. I legit do not know where to go anymore. The highway is probably a, a safe bet. Hey, it's six head! So how about some racing? I think this is Wobble Guy, actually. It was definitely the same model. Maybe it'll cheer you up. I think I'm done for the night. Hmm. <sighs> hmm. 
I think maybe I see you, Street. <laughs> it's because anybody who races on it ends up in the ICU. One tech building I already checked out. Alright, I'm gonna head back to the highway then. That's the new place that was unlocked. I can't go that way. That was the new place that was unlocked. <laughs> Wobbling is illegal. What? What is wobbling? You know what I just realized? I don't know what you mean by wobbling. What is wobbling in in the in melee combat? I thought I maybe did, but the more I thought about it, I'm like, no, I don't. You just mean wobbling back and forth? How is that illegal? That's just dodging. It's called sway. This when the ice climbers do it is for the grab. <laughs> That's true! I'd actually forgotten about that. Go fast! I remember the sound right? Oh, it isn't? Oh! Ices are still somewhat viable. Yeah, I never- I could never get into the Ice Climbers. That hit a ton of players hard. Well, yeah! Because if there's an- of course it did! Because if there's an infinite- if there's an instant win button, everybody's gonna jump on it. Sorry, if you're looking for the C1 Road Stars, they're over at the Daikoku Wharf. Really? Normally there'd be unofficial races available here, but not tonight. But since you're here, let me tell you how the highway area works. Some of the fighting games have instant win conditions. Oh yeah? If you want to duck out early, just press the X button and I'll stop yapping. Many teams prowl the highway, but the most famous are the C1 Road Stars. You might also run into the Dekoku Waves or the Wangan Gale. <gasps> I remember these guys! Each team has a monster great leader out there. Tensei Yabuki leads the Gale, and Shingo Mura Muraoka leads the Waves. I know the name Muraoka. Use my infinite or touch it out, the game plan is to not get hit by those. Hmm. I'm sure you'll run into them sooner or later. Oh yeah, and our leader is Gamo Kusunoki, but he's nothing to write home about. <laughs> That's so awful. The C1 Road Stars had their glory days back when Choji Todoroki was in charge. Uh, Todoroki. Uh, at the top of his game, he was known as the fastest man in Kanto. I was pretty disappointed when I joined the team. Maybe I should have joined the Night Racers. No, you should have joined BLR! There's also a team called Team 595, but I hardly ever run into them. They only seem to be around every three nights. What? I'd love to be able to snag their team decal. Excuse me, I heard you can hawk that thing for 10k RP on the black market. The highway has its own rules. Cars need to go over 100 kilometers per hour to start a battle. Try to follow the rules, eh? Never! So I just remembered I'm looking for a black car of some kind. I don't remember the name of it. Hazoo! Just in time! I found a black Avenue R. Black... Black Dragon. Black dr black the gra dragon black the dragon <laughs> black the black black the dragon. Ow! 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 Oh God! This is my first race of the day! I can't believe the first thing I did was the pickup chicane! I should have done some practice races! Um... No big deal, no big deal. Oh god, okay. I know I only have six! Do you know where I get the last eight? I found- I found where I need to do it. Ah, I found the UOR in, uh, North Yokohama. It's the dirt track. Oh, that's right. It's a swerve. But, um... 
But no, I haven't found another turbo. Two twin turbos and two singles? Uh, yes. Yes, in fact, you're good. Wait, what? Oh, that's right, my engine is a twin turbo. I completely forgot. Thanks, Hazu, I completely forgot. I mean, I thought maybe, like, I could just clip into the wall or something. I don't know. <laughs> God. It still feels like it's really hard to see anything. I turned off the color correction filter. That is way better. Oh my god, that is so much better. Oh, jeez. I forgot that I turned off my filter for Celeste because it looked very bizarre on Celeste. Oh, man. Or not let them have re the resources. Imperfect. So let's see. Nothing. Nothing new there. I'm just gonna leave. All right. Well then, let's go do the eight turbo v, v U O R. With the trash. So how you doing today, Hazel? You having a good day? Good morning? Or evening? Or afternoon? <gasps> Maybe even a nighttime. Sleep. Mm. Understandable. <laughs> Alright, back to North Yokohama I go. I do not remember what that song is, but <laughs> it just like got stuck in my head all of a sudden. So let's see. Um, I need to go to the dirt track. It's actually faster if I just go this way. Also, you were looking for the orange thing. Uh, orange thing. Where? Oh, it's on the right. It's on the, um, it's on the highway. Gotcha. Dead cars! Uh. All right, now I've got to go grab something real quick while this play. Oh, that's a cute blouse. Uh, oh, I like that actually. Oh, I like the little puffy sleeves and everything. Oh, that's really cute. All right, I'll be right back.
my turn! <laughs> Which TF2 class do you win? <laughs> hey, Peanut! Welcome to the stream! How's it going? Um, you having a good morning, evening, afternoon, night? How you doing? Unfortunately, I technically can't answer that question. Um, because I don't play Team Fortress 2. I'd love to be able to answer it, but I don't mean anything because I don't play the game. Fine. <laughs> oh, oh, fine as in how you doing? Good ear, good ear. Eater. Hmm. It's free. It is? Interesting. I didn't know that, but I also just don't have an interest in... Is my engine not a twin turbo? Why don't I play it's literally free? Because I'm not a... How a twin turbo? Because I'm I'm not really a competitive player. I'm not really a competitive type of girl. And I don't really... I've got other things that I like to do. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, I can't play every free game. It's, it's not really my speed either. Play fighting game. Exactly. K2 is the opposite of competitive. Really? Um, okay, so turbo and superchargers are allowed. Eight total turbos and superchargers are required. But I don't understand, Hazu, why it's a hat simulator. Yeah, I've heard about the hat simulator thing. I just, I don't know. I'm, I feel like it's the kind of game that you had to have grown up with. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it, but okay, so. Eight turbos and superchargers. I have one supercharger and eight turbos. I have a twin turbo engine, two, four, six turbos. I can't have eight turbos and eight superchargers. It's literally not possible. Oh, oh, total. Oh, I can't go over. Oh, it has to be a, exactly eight turbos and superchargers. <laughs> Didn't see that one coming. Um, let's get rid of the buffalo then. Let's slap on a, let's slap on the, I believe it's the 85, 816.3, 105. Okay. Really, you can serve everyone just in a conga line of times. Well, that sounds very interesting. Okay, so... Alright, let's get in on this 8 total supercharger turbos. Hold on, what's wrong? Countless men have been hypnotized by the lights of Yokohama. Have they taken your breath away as well? Now loading... One issue that I feel like I'm going to run to run into is that I don't have the dirt tires, so maybe I can pull this off, but I highly doubt it. I promise, though, I won't get too frustrated if I lose because there aren't actually any real stakes here outside of my time. Boom. <whistles> yep, nope, I have no chance of winning this. Okay. Oh, God. All right. Oh my god. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> I said I actually have to put effort into winning it. Alright, alright. <laughs> so I actually have to try, but maybe the dirt tires might help. Yeah, the dirt tires will help. I'm the only first engineer to hit my PC with a syringe, so it fixes it. You are, yeah, yeah, exactly. I just get a bullet bill and use it when I get in the first place. <laughs> That's Mario Kart. This is a different. This is totally different. This is real race. This is real racing for real, like. 
um, tough people. Roar! How's it different? Well, there are no items for one. You both have a track. True, but I'm not using, uh, we're not doing cart racing. This is car racing. I mean, the ability to build is use a normal bullet. Yeah! I like Ether's state of mind. I like where Ether's head's at right now. Normal bullets! All right, let's see if these rally tires help me get a little bit more control on this road. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, oh, okay. Um, they don't. They, they absolutely don't. What? Oh, I have to go this way. Oh, my God. Um, where am I going? Oh, I think I could get used to this. Okay. Okay, so I'm guessing, my guess is that this is a really, really lucrative reward because you've been pushing me for to this, for, to, to into this twin turbo, or into this eight turbo track for a while now. Uh, um... This is a bit of gay. Yes! I can tell. What's the most OP IRL food item? Hmm. Um, I want to say... Hardtack. Like, um... Uh, I want to say, like, like hardtack. Like the, like, uh, biscuit, ra biscuit rations? Pancakes? Nah, I don't know it's rice. Yeah, rice is, like, extremely high. Um... Mm, those are actually really good, really good choices. Pancakes are very powerful. Pancakes are really, really powerful. Good for slamming people's faces. Michelina TV dinners are pretty powerful. Um, I don't say I don't know if they're even on the same level as pancakes, though. Rice is very powerful, I will admit. Um, you can put it in just about everything. But if you had to go, when you say OP, the problem is the first thing I think of is um, um. Pure nutritional quality for, uh, and that's, that's hardtack. That's like, that's like ration biscuits. It's like they, uh, hardtack is like compressed. It's like compressed nutrients and you just eat, like, you can like survive on like small bits of it, basically. My peanuts in it. When I heard OP, I thought that would be most effective when brandished as a weapon. Oh, hold on. If we're talking most effective when brandished as a weapon, It'd probably have to be like um, skewers, beef like like beef skewers or lamb skewers. Lamb skewer, lamb is far more powerful. Lamb has a better status effect attached to it than beef does. What about World War II chocolate bars? I don't know anything about those. Are they a similar concept? Lots of nutrients back. These things, those things were harder than hardtack. Wow. Then yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe the World War II chocolate bars would be more op. Also, you can always throw hardtack at your enemies in case. I feel like hardtack can also be brandished as a weapon, so I think hardtack is probably, like, durians! Oh! Durians are spiky, smelly, and pretty hard. True. Grab a glove and throw them. Hmm. Durians, I feel like, would be a pretty OP food item. But the problem is, like, they need to use their knives to cut a jeez. The problem with durian is that, like, we're asking the most OP food item, and until it's peeled, it's not really edible. So... 
I don't, does it count as a food item until it's actually peeled? Or does it only count as a food item when it's peeled? Or are we counting all like food, foods and stuff, even stuff that needs to be prepared? Like, I feel like if we're counting, if we're even counting stuff that needs to be prepared, flour might actually be the most OP. Because you use flour and a ton of stuff, and it can cause gluten allergies, so that makes it very potential, very good as a potential weapon for at least a, per a certain percentage of the population. It can't be prepared, so it has to be an already edible item, so I feel like, yes, you can peel durian, but at that point, the smell is more of a, da more of a, a danger than the actual, like, shell of it. I have to just grab it and go. Okay. Well, in that case, you should people get <laughs> some pretty edible. I mean, if you go with that, all people are at a technically edible. You just don't really want to do that for like so many reasons. Animal fat BOP? Hmm. But you still have to cook with animal fats. No prep, huh? If edible food, then again, against Asian people, milk. Milk, huh? Is milk really that OP? I mean, I really love milk, but is it really OP, though? Grab a bundle of spaghetti and strangle someone with it. Ooh, spaghetti feels like a good answer. Spaghetti's pretty OP. All right, I think I'm making, I think I'm making some progress. And use their knives to cut it and eat small bits of it. If someone's lactose intolerant, yeah, true. Yeah, but lactose intolerance. No spaghetti needs prepared. Well, no, no, no. Well, not like that. You can't strangle. No, no, no. Spaghetti needs to be prepared. Yes, but so does any other food item. So, like. We're talking cooked spaghetti, not raw spaghetti. Try swapping the exhaust with the bore up or the pour polish? Okay. We're talking cooked spaghetti, not raw spaghetti. The reason, the reason I said it need, uh, I was asking the question about the preparing. Apples. Apples are pretty good. Apples are a very strong food. Let's see. The bore up 400, 816.3105. Oh my god, okay. The 400 cc higher bore torque via to high placement. Winding, you see? Winding. You see, for winding rounds, M sizes pick up from mid range RPM, improves engine responsiveness. Oh! It drops my power, but. It gives you the. Here's the food item. Toothpaste! It gives you the good breath perk. Mmm. An Oreo. Oh, that's a really good point, Ether. Oreos are the most OP food ever. They instantly kill you. <laughs> Which increases charisma by three. Toothpaste! But then again, but again, toothpaste can't be eaten. Toothpaste isn't a food item. Eating toothpaste is extremely bad for you. Now, if we're talking kids' toothpaste, then yeah, sure, why not? Eat it all you want, because it doesn't have fluoride in it. What about heavy sandwich? Um, I mean, it's probably good, but I don't know enough about the TF2 memes to know what heavy sandwich is like. I can't turn very well. can't restabilize. Why why is that? Why are they able to restabilize so much quicker than I am? What are they doing that I, I that I'm not able to? This is a bucket. No. My god! There's more! No! It's like the only one I know. Come on, baby. Mm. 
Is it, do I need to follow Doc? Do I need to follow Doc's advice? Turn left to go right? This is a bucket. Dear God, there's more. No! There must be something I need to buy. There must be something new I need to equip. Lower clearance for suspension? Perhaps. You think that'll work? Contains a bucket. Okay. Full of bullets and bleeding out. Om nom nom nom. Now you have full HP. Well, that seems pretty good. Beans. Oh, Melania! Beans are pretty high. Hold on. Let's see. Why are we talking about eating toothpaste? Because we're talking about the most OP food item. Caballo, you have to tell us the most OP food item. The most overpowered food, overpowered food in existence. Let's see. Beans are pretty high on the list, I think. Great nutrition. Formidable in a sack and stalls vampires. True. Hot scalding soup could be pretty good too. True. Just taking notes on replays. Hermits, I hear if you eat one, you become more powerful. I have dog. Dog's not a food. That well. I'm gonna post pictures on Discord, and no one will stop you. Do not threaten me, young peanuts. Uh, strongest food is garlic. Garlic is a pretty strong food. Well, yeah, I know, but you, we were talking about food and you just suddenly started talking about dogs. What do you mean, what is wrong with me? We were in the middle of a conversation about the most overpowered food and you were suddenly like, I have dogs, you know, and I'm like, oh, well, that seems... Vehicle height reduced to absolute minimum. A bumpy ride, baby. Let's go with the Yoroski. Wario and Chad. <laughs> Wario and Chad. Wait, uh, what's that a reference to? Dogs can catch rabbits, though, to be fair. Oh, yeah, true. Wario really loves garlic. Oh, he does? You get unlimited free food of garlic. Wario loves garlic. Does he actually love garlic? That's awesome. I like garlic, too. I'm no capitalist, though. Nor Hessler. Mmm. Wario all to get it spotted. Um... Okay, um... Okay, I think I understand. It's just like Doc says. You gotta turn left to go right. Oh, wait, too early. Yeah, but we don't talk about that. At least I don't talk about that. Ooh, that was a good one. Can't go not right with turning right. That's what you'd think, Lightning McQueen, but just give it a shot. Give it a shot, boy, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Gotta turn right to go left. I did it! If it wasn't clear, I actually kind of like the Cars movies. 
Um, I think they're actually done really well. I, I thought Cars 2 was okay. I thought Cars 2 was okay. Um, I saw some clips, gotta turn left to go forward. I mean, it depends on how bad your tires are. Um, yeah, if you, if you end up fishtailing and going sideways, then, yeah, um, <laughs> then you'll still be going forward. Just run your opponents off the road and... Yeah, that's not the lesson we should be taking from the first Cars movie. Okay, I realize what I'm doing wrong. I'm holding... I'm holding the brakes for too long. Oh god! Ah, Alright. If you open the door on a car's car, what's in there? No idea! It's terrifying! It's terrifying to think about! Mm. Play the Lightning McQueen game? I got stuck at trying to go backwards with the tow truck? Yeah, that sounds like the kind of mini game a car's game would have. Do the eyeballs get out of the driver's seat and escape? I don't know. Or are they just like fleshy inside and they're actually just organisms? But no, because we see like under the hood, it's a human. I mean... Yeah, you could go like the horror route with cars, but you can go the horror route with just about anything is the thing. That's why horror stories are so awesome. If not, then why are there sidewalks? Uh, because a human designed their worlds. Okay, I just don't understand how I'm supposed to do this. What just happened? I might have to give up on this. I might have to give up on this. I'm not really feeling it. Like... <laughs> The controls in this game are already so janky and difficult to actually do anything with. Then where do the humans go? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, you're you're not gonna broach anything that I haven't seen on the internet a thousand times. Like, like yeah, people talk. I mean, yes, yeah, I I agree. The Cars universe is potentially terrifying because there are a lot of like weird plot holes with the humans and why the cars are the way that they are, but it doesn't- it's a Disney movie, it doesn't matter. Like, sometimes you have to take things... What is it, the doilian? They sometimes it's a doilian... Switch, switch tires, GP500R? Okay. Sometimes it- sometimes you have to look at a thing... Sometimes you- it, sometimes it helps to look at a, um... At a, um at a work, the way that it was written and the way that it was intended to be interacted with rather than the way humans think it should be interacted with. Rather than from our perspective, sometimes it's better to look at a, at a work from the work's perspective. Cars don't use the sidewalks because it means there has to be people. I guarantee it'll matter by Cars 5. <laughs> yeah, you're probably right. Is there even a Cars 4 yet? Like, have they finally broken down and made a new Cars movie? I know they made Planes. Planes looked like it might be fun, no? Dang. Planes looked like it might actually be fun. Looks like a, it looked like a cute coming-of-age story. But how do you know how it was written to be interacted with? Well, because it's a Disney movie about cars. <laughs> yeah, planes. Okay. These are helping a little bit. Okay. Hey! Pickaboo! Whoa! Guys, 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 guys! Don't do that! Don't do that! Oh, God! Don't run into me like that! Oh, Jesus! Oh. This is 
the actual chaos. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is such chaos. Oh, dang it. No. No. Dang it. This is nuts. No, oh god. Oh my god, are you serious? Oh my god, I did it! That was freaking insane! Oh my god, thank you, Hazel! You saved my bacon with those tires! My heart is pounding so hard right now. Did you guys see that? Oh my god. Wouldn't believe me by being so loud I went deaf for a few minutes. I'm so sorry you got deafened by a plane. Oh my god. That was intense. Oh heck yeah. It's whoa. What is- what is going on with that turbo? The Hercules SCT? Heck is going on with that thing? Let's- let's go examine it. Win! Excuse me. This is the Hercules SCT. It is a supercharger and turbo. Double plus torque at all RPM, comp ratio plus one. Ooh, do I replace the Titan with it? Heck yeah! Because it's the Hercules! That's great! 848.9, 110.2. Oh, baby, it's beautiful! And then I just go back with the Buffalo, correct? 900, 110.2? Oh! I think I'm just gonna stick with the engine ports then. With the bore ups. What do you think? My power and torque are better with the bore ups. Like, considerably better. I think I'm just gonna stick with those. Yeah. Oh, you did it! Yay! Congratulations, Ether! Nice! Uh, over the city. I haven't done over the city yet. Are there any other fun rewards for these? I'm extremely, I'm extremely high power, so displacement was not exceed 660cc. Yeah. I don't know what my displacement is, but... Apparently it exceeds 660cc. What do you mean there's no channel? <laughs> is there a channel you can post pictures of dogs? Alright, hold on. Well, Hazu goes and looks up where one of my next step needs to be. Um, I've been I've been needing to expand on the um, I've been needing to expand on the Discord for a while now. How about <sighs> let's see. Phone name memes. Memes. Phone name memes. Phone name memes. And then that one weird corner, we're gonna go. Dogs, dogs, exclusively dogs. Nothing but dogs. 
cursed if you wanna. There we go. Perfect. All right, now we've got a new, we've got a new, um, we've got a new park channel as well as a new, uh, that one weird corner channel. So there you go. There you go. Now you have a place to put your dogs. Thank you, Levi. No problem. <laughs> and for tree hive, fun. Well, good, good luck. Nothing super interesting seems to be from the UORs. All right. In a class, turbos and superchargers are prohibited. Turbos and superchargers allowed. You think I can beat the turbo class? I want to at least give it a shot. Because I don't mind if I lose. Tear my heart out with your warm smile. I'm never alone when in my machine. It's better when raw. It goes deep in my soul. Deployed my huskies into the channel. I love them. They're so cute. I'm glad. Found the memes. Yeah, I think I might be a little overpowered for this one. Oh, God. Okay. Why does my car seem to be handling differently? Oh, is it the... Is it the raw speed from the Hercules? I hadn't considered that. Gah. Raw speed. <laughs> Raw, unfiltered speed! Coming to you Sunday, Sunday, Sunday! Tune in this Monday for Sunday, Sunday, Sunday! Where you get to see the raw, unfiltered speed of Lofi Lady's K Car! Her really beautiful wagon! The unbelievable, the unbeatable Chad Wagon! USA, USA, right on the moon. <laughs> Why not let everyone enjoy them being cute? Why not? Yeah. You, Usa. Oh, Usa. Usagi? Usa, Usa, right on the moon. Usagi. Usagi, da da. It was from the Usa Usa night. What's that from? 150k yen. Not bad for how easy that was. Can I do it again or? It's from the late. Oh, it's from the Racing Lagoon playlist. Gotcha. All right. So, so you said there wasn't really anything that interesting outside of the, the eight turbo. The octuple turbo race. All right, it's gonna be very, it's gonna feel very weird going to anything else. <laughs> I'm considerably faster now too, which is very scary, Con which is very scary to consider. The bore ups in place of that one turbo made me so much faster. Let's see, um, no, 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 our car is being too slow. We need to go right up to ludicrous speed. True, we do, we do need to hit ludicrous speed. Howdy, come on over to the pump. Never hurts the GS. Even icons. What, what do you mean icons? I already did him. I already did him. You weren't here for like the first 20 minutes. I did every single one. I did every single one. The wharf? Which wharf? Well, I did everyone in North Yokohama. I did everyone in North Yokohama. I haven't been to South Yokohama today. The chicken race? I thought so. Did we not? No, I guess I didn't do the chick. I thought I did the chicken race already. 
Hmm. I'll go check on it. Me might be right. I might not have done it today. So you saw Freddy? Um, and tried out the cool UOR? Maybe. I don't know. Why are you being so passive aggressive? <laughs> I don't remember. I'm sorry. I was just trying to be all respons- I was just trying to be a responsible driving adult. <sighs> oh, that's right. There's a super cool and interesting UOR that she wanted me to try out. Okay, so I haven't done this one yet. Whoa! We'd be proper chuffed if you'd become a driver for us. Is that how you use chuffed? I thought chuffed was... Alright. You don't want to be the responsible driving adults that are in my area. <laughs> Everyone's... <laughs> yeah. Very good fellow and have another race with us. Is there no convincing you? Is there no convincing you? Is it... Is that supposed to be like a bad... Is he supposed to be... Isn't he supposed to be a stereotypical Italian? Because anytime you add uh at the end of a word, it's supposed to be like stereotypical Italian, I think so, I think. Is there a note convincing you? I'm gonna be a little, I'm gonna be a little subdued about it because of our particular comp, my channel's particular company. Oh no, his name's even worse, what was it? The Fredster is not interested. It's simply biz Forza Rush? No way. I have to feed my dogs against the Oh god. It's simply business chop. Do try to think it over. Already told you, Tex. No. Tex. USA! USA! <laughs> Negotiations have broken it down. Negotiations have broken it down. You do realize that your refusal will have consequences. Oof. The fear in driving high. What? Why are we introducing new concepts this late in the game? We aren't hurting for research subjects. White hair is stereotypically British guy? A stereotypical British guy? Mm. You're just another data point in our study. It kind of reminds me of Keith Griff from Atelier Aisha. Atelier Aisha. This design does, at least. Pray to Maria that it goes well for you. You'll be eating your, f eating your finger licking chicken in a hell. But uh, what? Yeah, it's it's just so I hate that so much. Ten huts, then. Well, what's the matter? You look pale as a ghost. Who were those guys? Some old friends of mine. That have turned into total bacas. Oh, right. I was like, what? Oh, right. He's like a weeb. Or he's just bad. At, he's just really bad at Japanese. He's not a weeb. In fact, I think he's the exact opposite. He's just very, very bad at Japanese. Don't worry about him. Forza looks like Reno with bed hair. Reno. When British people speak, how many S's, H, and P's are there? Um... Enough to fill the canal with tea? I don't know. Final Fantasy VII? Oh, oh! I don't know. Yeah, sorry, I don't know Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> Here to race my Tomodachi? Yes. I don't take any excuse to race. I thought we were racing a ghoul lagoon. Not a city street. A ghoul lagoon. It is done. Well, good job. Break no use. Okay, so what's the. Wait, was on a seat 800. Hyperweight, but I can't do this. Okay, cool. All right then. Um, no. 
That stage flows so well. Yeah. I was misremembering it, but you you know how I did the hyperway? Yeah, I gotta use ballasts. I'm gonna use ballasts. Mm -hmm. I use the truck. <laughs> Azu, no. <laughs> also, I can't. I actually don't have enough ballast to do hyperweight. I only have 600 kilos worth of weight. I'm trying to force you to do truck you are. All right, all right, we'll do truck you are. Where's my truck? <laughs> Bus. <laughs> We have the Star, the 86 Lev, the Celine, the Sil 14, the CVC 1600, the Germany RS. Such a beautiful lineup of cars, and then we have Bus. <laughs> bus. <laughs> bus, bus, bus. All right, I'll do a bus you are. It's bus time, baby. Alright. <laughs> bus! <laughs> That's actually my initial reaction to bus was bus, enough said. My initial reaction to bus is actually on the uh, on my Twitch channel if you guys want to watch it. I highlighted it because it's hilarious. That's funny, it does the paint doesn't change because it's literally just the default city bus paint. Bus a move! Oh that actually looks really good. Oh, I didn't expect it to look that good. What's your favorite show? Can be on TV, Netflix, or even YouTube. <sighs> it's time to get bussy. Get it? Cause busy. <laughs> has been hotel. Yeah, has been hotel's really good. Um, mm, that one too. Yeah, I've heard. I've heard that. Um, I've heard the second one is really good. I haven't seen it though. I'm gonna throw on the 300. Um, I can I can increase the weight with the with a wing for the bus. And the arrow kits. And then if I slap on the money sack. Perfect. Maybe there's a joke about people are... Okay. Alright, so... Wait, max power is still 900 horsepower? Wow. You posted a found the meme? <gasps> you posted a found the meme! Aw, your huskies are adorable. Don't act like you've never done this. <laughs> hey, it's Geb. I found the meme. Hashtag relatable. We've all been Geb at some point in our lives. It's Geb, right? From Dark Scavengers. It's been way too long since I played. I don't remember his name. Was it Geb? Lol, Gib. <laughs> what was it? Not Gib. What was it? <laughs> Den. Oh my god. Right, because it's an anagram for end. I, was, no, I knew it was an anagram for something. <laughs> what? Gib is... Gib is a name. Pretty close, I guess. Yeah, true. I knew it was an anagram for something, and I was like, Gib isn't an anagram for anything. Except for beg. <laughs> Alright, let's go hyperweight. It's not like we have anything to lose. Bus, 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 bus. Uh, let's see. You're allowed to fall into the wall. Uh, it's still a chicken race. Oh, come on. I'm doing a chicken race with a bus. Chicken bus. Ooh. Whoa! Look at what the high, what the arrow kit did to it. 
I can't see anything. <laughs> the fast bus. Oh my god, look at this bus haul. 200 kilometers per hour? Uh, engine braking! Yeah, yeah, I did it way too soon. I can use the map. I should have quick saved at the beginning. Isn't that hilarious? It's hilarious! That, this is pretty quick to accelerate. Yeah, yeah, my, well, it's because the bus is so heavy. It uses engine braking. Um. Well, no, because the engine isn't that heavy. The engine isn't any heavier. It's just the bus itself that's super heavy. Getting a really good view of the backside. I guess being chonky as hell does head. Help does heck. Chonky as heck does help. The orange thing on the highway and the black dragon the only left you really need to do. Perfect. If it's heavy, wouldn't it take longer to break? No. No, because it's uh, it, uh, the heavier it is, the more friction it has with the ground. The yeah, heavier would mean more momentum. You'd think. Well, yes, but it also means more friction. Because of inertia. Yeah. Wow, that thing stops fast. But it, uh, it also has a flat front, so it has higher drag. So the air is helping to stop, is trying to stop it as well. Jesus, this thing stops fast. God, this thing stops so quickly. Air drag is so minuscule when it comes to speed of a car, really? It's kind of weird you say that because air drag, because downforce and drag are very important things to manage when. Yo, Roshi Ku, cowboy, let off the gas one even once and it's all over. I came here for an honorable duel. Oh, cool ranger. These things like planes and rockets. It also affects cars. That's why, that's why you have, um, that's why you have wings and, um, certain body kits that improve downforce and drag and aerodynamics. The street pressure isn't the same thing as air drag. All right. I think he's farther. And yes, I did not quick save on Freddy, so we're gonna have to do the first one again, too. If this thing is a desert bus, we'd have drifted off the pier to the left by now. I'm not an air scientist. Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough, neither am I. I do, however, have a whole document about the aerodynamics of cars open on my computer because I needed to look it up in order to... At least I used to. I guess I closed it. I had a whole, like, document about the... Uh, a document about the... Uh, about downforce and drag and aerodynamics on my... <laughs> open on my... in my uh, browser because I needed to figure out how it was supposed to work so that I can figure out <laughs> figure out how to get get it to work in this game. I skimmed it. I skimmed a little bit of it because it's a very long, very dry, fairly dry uh, dry document. You're assuming a very dangerous thing here. What? The game logic is the same as real world. So far, it's been pretty, pretty darn close. But like, it is, but like, why not? Why not assume it's the same as real world logic? No! 
Would you consider playing Kerbal Space Program? Um, I have played Kerbal Space Program before. So yes, I would consider playing it again. Yes, not on stream, if that's what you're asking. No, if I, I hit the edge, I hit the edge. Ah! You dailed, I dailed, I dailed, I dailed, I did, I dailed. Played for the first time I mixed up my staging. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. I played it for a very short amount of time. I barely did anything in it. You did a dead end. Come on. Fired off my parachute first before my rocket. Ooh, that's unfortunate. Parachute first, then thrusters. Heck yeah, baby. That <laughs> poor Kerbal. <sighs> I still think that's not far enough. Okay, there we go. Now I race Freddy. Now I race Freddy. You had to bail him when flying 300 miles per hour into the dirt. Mm. Ouch. Bonus rewards, 80,000 yen. He somehow survived unscathed. Well, they're Kerbals, they're immortal. Nakashima Victory Road, the glowing base satellites by side lights are hypnotizing. It's like they're drawing you into an illusion. This is cool driving, not hot driving. Can I use the thrusters to cook a steak? Sure. Why not? I can't believe I'm dragging in a bus. This bus looks so cool now, too, with the arrow kit on. Come on, Freddy! Let's do this! The ver one very rare thruster grill, please. Wait, very rare? Well, then we might as well not even turn on the thrusters. Ha <laughs> ha First try, baby! We might as well just hand it to you raw! Oh wait, if I wanted it cooked, it has to be well done. God, my bus is so cool. Brain lagging, ah. Uh. God, look at how cool my bus is. It has to be congratulations done. <laughs> Which is just a pile of ashes. It's just gonna be a bunch of yen. Yep, 160k. Not really worth it. It was so fun, though. It was so hilarious to see. I mean, no, the prize wasn't, but the experience was. Because, oh my god, it was so funny. It was so worth it to see a bus do it. <laughs> to play chicken. To just watch someone play chicken with a bus. Even if that someone was me. Bus flies off the pier. I don't know. The left fame. 200 kilometers per hour in life? Hmm. So. Hold on. Isn't 200 kmh kilometer to mile? 1.6 miles. Okay, so that's 120 miles per hour. I am in a bus. I am in a city bus going 120 miles per hour. That seems a little fast. Well, my battery bus turned into a submarine and like a despicable me too. Well, yeah, but... <laughs> 
Different game. You go 103 miles per hour while on the ground, but not in a car. Really? Your land speed is pretty good, then. I'm so big. If it goes in the water, then we'll have to measure it in knots. <laughs> I guess that's true. Bus going at 108 knots. I was on the top thrill dragster in Cedar Point. Really? Zero to 20 in like two seconds. Wow. All right, bus on the highway. Get out of the way. 200 kmh. This doesn't even make any sense because I can't even go this fast in a race setting. Wait, yes, I can. I literally just talked about how I was. Never mind. Use the slingshot that aircraft carriers use along with magnets. Jeez. Mmm. Ah, uh, top drill dragster. I don't. Never mind. I realize what you're talking about now. Oh god. Oh jeez. Oh no. 250? Uh oh. Okay. Now this doesn't make any sense. Yeah, because if you have your head forward, it'll snap your- it'll fold your body in half, and you won't be able to breathe. Oh yeah. Maybe that too. What the- they have the road blocked off. Whatever it is, I don't want any part of it. Are you sure it's whiplash? Because, like, yeah, because the, the force, if you have, well, yes, if you have your head a little bit forward, if you have your head a little bit forward, it'll whip you back into the seat. A blockade of four cars. Boosh! I'm a bus. Get out of my way. Get out of my way! Darn. Doesn't even block the entire width of the road, right? I need to find an orange car, by the way. I mean, people leaning far forward. Gotcha. I didn't want to race you. I'm in a bus. It's fine. We've got this guy totally beaten. Okay, bus at 250 kilometers, 250k of age is ridiculous. Heck yeah, it is. Oh, I see. Bigger car, go better than small car. Get out of way. Bus is here. Oh, go hide. How are you faster than I am? Your power to weight ratio isn't even remotely as good as mine is. Someone tell Lucky 2 to move the camera, please. Lucky 2. Oh god. You are authorized to commit a pit maneuver on them. Oh god, the steering is so awful. I am so heavy. This is so awful, and I love it. I love every moment of this. Oh, God, I can't. I can go to their side and ram their back tire. Heck yeah. Cost do it? Interesting. It's fine. They won't steal my parts. Uh, no, they will. They will steal my parts, but it doesn't matter because I have a quick save. Uh, or rather, I have a time machine. I have a time machine that I'm going to use to go back to the EUOR and beat Freddy again. Jesus. What sure they only do if there's no risk of people being hurt or the suspect? Gotcha. I wouldn't assume that, but sure. You were cleared to sandwich the opponent between you and the wall. You don't know how a pit works? Faster than 50, it kills? Oh, wow. Jeez.
I think it might be faster than 45. <laughs> Dang right, I don't know if that works. Yeah, I don't really either. I've never even heard of it. So below that's the speed threshold, it spins. Does it explode if I go even faster? Oh man, if only! If you go like three times the speed threshold, your car just bursts it, just obliterates itself. You perform the pit maneuver and the car just goes, <laughs> like, disappears. And you're like, where did it go? Ha ha ha! Never punished! The guy took one look at my bus and was like, mm, I'm not even bothering looking through this. This thing is huge. I don't even want to deal with it. Alright, well, unfortunately, I now have to switch off on my boss. Uh, because my boss is a little too fast. 35? Too many kids in the school bus. Yep. Don't want to deal with them. I was going to say that, actually. There's my wagon 660. My baby! All right, so what all did I have on you? I think I had the Carbon GT. Then, of course, I have all of the... What paint do I want today? Ren Yellow? All right, the McVan! The McKay car! Right, right, right. I want to I wanna race the McKay car again. All right, we've got the the the, the diet ten. The diet twenty. With SUVs and high center of gravity cars like vans, it'll be lethal below thirty-five. Wow. Oh no, the McWagon car is back. Heck yeah, it is. The thirty. Wish there was a sorting mechanic or sorting feature. The diet forty. Hmm. Did I have the door on? Put the die at 10, die at 20, die at 30, die at 40. And around off the build, a 100 ballast, baby! Heck yeah! <laughs> door, really? Junjo! Innocence. Hmm. But I don't have a decal now. With the CFRP door? Yeah. Or is let it's minus ten, yeah. Alright, fine. Uh let's fix my I just realized I need to fix my suspension too. Toge champ! Yeah, dimension threes. And you told me to fix my to you already told me to put the Put the right tires I've been using back on, right? The Monzas have really high grip but low handling. The Patriots are 300. Yeah. The GP500Rs are the best ones. Are the ones I've been using, I should say. All right. Let's go! With the trash. Ether, you are a card designing genius. Truly, truly a mastermind behind car design. You have blown my mind, Ether. Pink? I don't care. Oh, I don't want to hit that blue car. Don't, don't make me race the blue car. All right, I gotta go find me an orange car. Or a black car. The problem, yeah, I can try the black. I have an idea. Oh, Rainbow Palette, fun. 
Black is optional, huh? But orange isn't? Interesting. Very interesting. All right. The McVan, the McWagon was, uh, has been really great to me, but for now, no way. No shot I don't have a black paint. Of all the paints I've collected, I don't have a black paint. There it is. It's an essay. I'm like, no shot I don't have black. Black is optional. Orange is speed. Black is handling. Oh, the black has the best tires. Yeah, that's what it was. Sinister black car. Alright, so now I have my own black car. That was uh, Tetsuji. You can tell by how long his car is. Because of the stupid Zaki attachment. It just looks so bad. Like, blackest luxury car. So luxury. All right, let's see if I can find me an orange car. With the trash. Certain bits of this. Have you guys ever played Crosscode? Because certain bits of the soundtrack remind me. This song in, in particular remind me of uh, the cro some Crosscode music. Crosscode is a very, very good action RPG. I still have not beaten it because it is, in fact, extremely. Well, I say extremely long. It's very long, but it is very, very good. And some people like long games, so. Nope, was playing the grab it though. Super recommend. You should if you have if you have the ability to. That looks like I mean it's so long though. I feel like it's just another avenue. It looks like an avenue. It's a CVC. It's on my to-do list. Ooh. Uh, super great game. Yeah, one of the reasons I don't wanna it's station wagon. Yep. Wait, oh I hit the white one. I hit the white one. I see. I hit the wrong one. There's a seam sale in about 10 days. Interesting. That ought to be fun. Bye. Lol, bye. See you never. Oh, God. Okay. I'm used to the... I guess I was used to the bus. Oh. Hmm. like that plane all over again. Alright, so... Ow. Steam sale? Yeah, apparently. Doesn't really affect me, though. I think I'm starting to get the hang of controlling my baby on the highway. <laughs> the bump, bump, bump. It's fine. She's okay. Oh, man. <laughs> All right. I'm not really sure why I even why I would even care about yeah you know, literally everything already. I can't even I can't even I can't take anything off this car. 
Not even do I not want to, but I literally cannot. All right, nice car. No, not dark enough. Well, no, that's an avenue. What it, do you know what the what the car kind of what shape the car kind of looks like? The black one. All right, orange. Where you at? There's not a goal. Nah. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, I completely forgot this is what. Say unique body. Really. Hmm. Do you think it would be long or short? That's all I really need to know. Actual Black Dragon is the actual car type. Gotcha. Just if you had to give it a guess. Aw. Not even a guess? Alright. <laughs> Medium? Oh no, okay. <laughs> Limos are long. K cars are short. Black Dragon is medium. Okay. I guess that's fair. I hadn't thought of it that way, actually. Like short relative. Yeah, like length relative to what? Good point. I'm still accelerating. Oh no, I'm just peeking. Never mind. 275. That's what this car caps at. 275. I thought I used to cap at 280. Or 290. Is my top speed lower now? Maybe, but I know my acceleration is higher. Oh! I know why it is. I know why. 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 I can tell you why. And you already figured it out. Come on, I just gotta get into my menu before Hazu posts it! <laughs> oh. It is... The fact that for the dirt race, I equipped... No, dang it. The winding ECU. It's not as good as my, um. It's not as good as the. Let's see the Hunati Aries. 900, 110, 920, 110. Or I think the Autobahn. 921, 110. Yeah. Alright. So I guess that we finally got to the point where the Hunati Aries is actually better than the Autobahn, which is fi fantastic. The Wontech 921, 110. No. 921, 110. Nope. Alright. The D dude. <laughs> Maybe the plasma? Nope. Alright, finally, the Hunadieres. Uh, thank you, Hazel, for telling me to buy the Hunadieres. Uh, Alright, now I'm doing better. And my top speed should be much higher. Or at least a bit higher. Oh! Oh, I never answered my favorite show on TV, Netflix, or YouTube. Dang, it's so hard to say. I guess... Critical Role is pretty awesome. Um... Arcane is amazing. Um... I can't really think of anything else. The problem is I don't watch much of anything anymore. I've heard some criticism on how critical role is making DMing hard. Well, yeah, but that's because people stink. That's because people stink. That's that's not that's not critical role's fault. That's because people that's because people don't understand what critical role is. You have all these people who watch a ton of critical role and yeah. That's 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 their problem though. That's that's not critical role's fault. 
Critical Role is a show. That's like saying you're DMing around the guy in Critical Role wouldn't do this. Oh, okay. Gotcha. 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 But just commenting on it. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. It's a little bit of a, it's something I'm a tiny bit passionate about because I have actually had some, um, I have actually had some, I, I've, I've been in a couple groups before and I've, I've been in a good one. I've been in a bad one. Um, and, um, and I know that like, the thing, yeah, it's like the guy in Critical Role, yeah, it's like, I think I've talked about this before, but yeah, Matt Mercer is an incredible DM, I'm not lying about that, but the players, but the players, Sam Regal, Liam O'Brien, Laura Bailey, Marisha Ray, Sally Sinjaffe, they're all, um, Tra Travis William, they're all amazing players. It's not just up to the DM to make a game good, it's also up to the players to make a game good. Got their expectations for what a good DM is for Matt Mercer, right. But the problem is that, like, while he is a good DM, and he has, like, a lot of really great qualities for a DM, like, he's not carrying the show. The, in fact, I'd, I'd be willing to, I'd be willing to say that if the, that, um, that I feel like the the players are actually pulling more weight than Matt is. Matt, Matt's still doing a really, really great job, but, like, the players want to carry someone in a MOBA. That actually would be a lot of fun, wouldn't it? Be like, I'm your hero now! Get behind me! And they're like, no! My hero is here! Yay! I don't know why I landed with no. I guess I was on the enemy side for a second. Alright, Orange Car, where are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a support player, Ah! Orange! Orange, 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 orange! No! Come on! Come on! Come here! Dang it! Son of a slurg! Ah. Son of a slorm! Wait, 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 I think you're the black car. That looks like the black car. Destroy the blockade. Come on. Come on. Just gotta... I, I can catch it if I don't lose speed. Come on. Come on. Gotcha! I don't... Th this might not be it. But I think it is. Remember, don't hit the bus. Yeah. A Germany turbo. Dang it, this was the first black car I raced. <laughs> I think. Yeah, it was. This is a Porsche. 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 Oh my god. Can you race a bus on the highway? I feel like buses can't race. Porsche. Porcine. Yes? Really? Ick. Bugaboo! Uh -huh. But yeah, a little more on Critical Role for just a second, because I'm not done beating this dead horse. Um, yeah, they're voice actors, and they're really great at getting into character. Like, that's one, the one thing that makes the, the show so gosh darn entertaining is how how well they're able to get into character and how they have no embarrassment about putting on these masks, the masks of their character. And it's what a lo that's what a lot of people struggle with when playing D&D, is like be being able to really get into the role of their character. And they don't realize how important that can be to making... Like, I was like, yeah, exactly! They... They don't realize that how they don't realize how important that can be is like step the the role playing aspect and getting into character. That's why a lot of DMs will will try to push role play so hard is because it's like it can make the experience so much more personal and interesting. Like like there's so many intense interesting moments. True. Yeah, that too. There's so many intense moments that can arise from like good role playing. And like, that's a very, very huge part of it. Not just how good the DM is at telling you what to do and stuff. Come on, orange car, where are you? With the trash. 
It's so annoying that some that some challenge that some cars go like really really slow and others go like uh, just almost as fast as you are. Like the orange one was almost as fast as I was, but did you see that red car? It was going like half my speed. And it was still a challenge car, so like Ugh. God, this is so tough. I feel like we're gonna be here forever. A dark 2V, huh? Ooh. <laughs> it's green. I want to say you can skip this and this nado through the rest of the game. Skip skip this and go through the rest of the game. I mean, I probably can. I probably don't need the extra speed from this. I'm already hyper donkulously fast compared to the rest of this the rest of the cars. But at the same time, what? Did I say something wrong? What happened? What? Oh, okay. Yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> no spoiler. I mean that that in and of itself. That that in and of itself was already okay. But you will need the speed. Gotcha. Yeah. Oh heck yeah! I'm up to three oh seven. Heck yeah! Oh, that was a significant speed boost. It's only the only point where I got VOD muted. VOD muted for? Why? Because you played the wrong song? What? Same nightmare. Oh. Ooh! The air, the flat out. Ooh, high efficiency with straight through design. Please. East New Sound original. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. I think I remember you talking about that one before, actually. Yeah, unfortunately, it's just not better than anything else I have on my car currently. Thankfully, the Kisaki cover doesn't come with VOD mutes. Ooh, cool. So let's see. Um, yeah, what I was gonna say before, before you started getting cagey was that while I say I probably don't need the speed, like, I have been struggling a bit with, um, with some cars lately, and I think there was like a bit earlier that I actually did kind of struggle with speed wise. So like, and the game just keeps getting faster. So like, I probably will end up needing it. You know what? It's probably not the black here. I, I want this one. What are you? Gray. Yeah, I know it's gray, but I think maybe Maybe it's trying to trick me. Nope, CX-1800. Yeah. No, I mean, listen, you can know, you can be like, no, no. But like, don't, listen, I'm, I've been at this for ages now. I maybe need to start changing in my strategy. Like, I don't want to just, I want to take, I want to take risks. Sometimes I, you need to take risks and experiment just to make, to rule out the possibilities that you may be missing. So like, I know it's like, no, it's definitely gray. Well, guess what? Nothing else I've been doing is working, so maybe I need to branch out a little bit. That's how I like to approach problems, is... I like to try the same thing over and over and over again, and if it just... Seems like it just straight up won't work, maybe I need to just do something crazy, something wild! Something a little bit wacky! And then I'll go back to what I was doing. But sometimes, it helps... ...to change the tempo. Oh god. <laughs> also, I'm gonna head a little bit um, west to try to see if I can um, not have to race on this track anymore. Because goodness gracious, I'm tired of racing on this track, I do tell you. Ow. Ow. Uh. <sighs> I 
So... Minis. What? Isn't there a car called a Mini? What brand? What? What? Um, what company makes the Mini? Because I think in the movie Italian Job they used like Minis or whatever, and it was like almost basically a, like a sales commercial when they like they brought out the Minis. They were like, "Oh, look at this car, Mini Cooper." That's what it is. Thank you. Just Mini Cooper. Gotcha. I couldn't remember. Yeah, I couldn't remember the name, the full name of it. Yeah, it's just Mini Cooper, I guess. But what's the brand? Is it just Mini or is it Cooper? Minor study break. Oh, Mini USA. I think it's a brand. Yeah, Mini is a brand. Wow. Is a Mini Cooper a BMW? Who owns Mini Cooper? BMW acquired Mini in 1996 and has owned it since then. What would you know? Would you look at that? I had no idea. Very, very interesting. Also, can I go get my RP out of the bank now? Has it been three nights? I don't remember. Oh, right. That loss is going to really cost me on... going to cost me another 32 races, isn't it? <sighs> oh, no, I'm at 90. Okay, cool. Nice. <laughs> Wait, that doesn't... Hold on. 32 losses. 32 is 10% of 320. How do I have a 90% win-loss ratio? Oh, I see. I see. I think? Does it slightly round up? I'm not... Hmm... Math time! Yeah, see, I'm trying to do it in my head while I'm driving around looking for an orange car. Um... So if you have 300 wins and 32 losses, you have a 90% win-loss ratio because 10% of your total record is losses, right? That sounds right. That sounds right. So, but I'm still at 299, so why? Okay. So why did it round up, I guess? Ah! Dang it! Man, I tell ya. Here's a world record 2000 ST! A world record 2000 Sprinkle Toast! That's what it stands for. Hmm, <laughs> hmm. 299 to 32, 100x. Oh, yeah, it's a proportion. Good point. Bang! Rounded is around 90%. Okay. Wow. Um, wait. Really? Is that how that works? Because... No, it's a little... No, it's... No, it should be... Wait, 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 wait. No, it's a little... Wait, no, that's a little bit wrong. Hold on, wait, that's wrong. Because it's. it needs to be... No, the, the percentage is probably right, but hold on. Wait a minute. Because... If you take... Percentage, you want to know what percentage wins. So it's... 299 over... 331. It's 299 over 331 equals x over 100. Because you do, 
your wins over your total races equals your win percentage over 100. Because you're trying to turn your wins into a percentage, so you put... Yeah. You're trying to figure out your win percentage. So you... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So you put 299 over your total races. Yeah, I think that's it. So 299 over 331 equals X over 100. So let me pull out the calculator real quick because it's just easier with numbers that big. 299 times 100. Oh, God. I messed that up. Okay. Clear. 299 times 100. Divided by, no, no, divided by, divided by, divided by, there we go. 331. Yeah, not a little over 90%. A little over 90%. Yeah, 299 plus 32 over 32 equals 100 over X. Yeah, that works too. That works too. But then you have to flip it because when you're looking at the... It's best to flip it because you're, you're looking at the... You want the percent. You want the 100 to be on the bottom because you're looking at the percentage. You're going for a percentage, so you want to. Because otherwise, you'll your number will be a little too big. So you want it out of 100 if you're looking for the percentage number. So yeah, 90.3. 90.3 is what I'm currently sitting on. Perfect. Saves a passage. Saves a passage. Plus save states. What? What are you- what are you saying? I don't get what you're saying. Orange! It's not gonna turn around. It's not gonna. No, no, come on. Ah, oh, man. You think it's gonna turn around? Oh, uh, no! I didn't wanna go this way. Well, I'm fine. I already lost the orange car anyway, so. All right, turn around. Donut. Do -do 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 donut. Wait, what is going on? Can't race you, I guess. I really like that color. Some runs you lost, but you run we run a time. That's very true. That's very true. <laughs> You were very right. Technically, my KDR is a little worse than that. I just feel like KDR rolls off the tongue a lot better than WLR. I guess you can say win loss. I mean, my win loss is better than is worse than that. But I like KDR. Stands for kill death ratio. If you guys didn't know already. Okay, the thing is, I just realized how silly... Hmm, you could be the black car I'm looking for, but I don't think you are. Come here. I don't know how it's called in fighting games. Uh, it's probably just win-loss percent. It's another Germany turbo. Dang it! <laughs> right? Ugh. Wangan. At least we're on Wangan, so. They used to go WL. Mmm. Yeah, and W to L. Yeah, it's like 10 to O. O to 10. Three to one. Pick 
Peekaboo. Come on. Just a leisurely drive downtown. Oh man, I thought I was close to the to the end. That's fine. Yeah, it's like I should get a handicap bonus for doing that. Use your remain to time things like that. What do you mean? Use the remining. Remining? I had eight. Oh, remaining! Oh, I see. The remaining miles. Uh, okay, so basically, it seems like the best thing to do is to just troll down the troll down the highway, like a specific stretch of highway. Yeah, it seems like the best thing is just troll down a spe the specific stretch of highway below 150, just below 150, so the people can't. Yes. Yeah, specific stretch. Because if I go, I was below one. It's 100, isn't it? Dang it. Yeah, specific stretch. So that when the, when the, um, because if I just go up one side of the highway, I'm only going to see the only car, the only cars I want to see going my direction that I can speed up and catch or. I'm only gonna see like half the car. That'll only be like half the cars, and then it'll be too hard to turn or it'll be too too late to turn around, I think. Right? If I see one going the other direction, I won't be able to turn around as quickly. I don't know, but if that happens, like it's still rolling the dice, isn't it? Ah, eh, whatever. I'll just troll I'll just troll up the highway going like below 100. And then if I see the car I'm looking for, I'll just, um, hit the gas. In whatever direction I need to go, baby. Whatever. All right, we don't need anything from you. But yeah, you're right. You're probably right. I think, sorry, my chair is being kind of obnoxious. What is going on? Alright. Wow, well, going below 100 kmh on the highway feels like a nightmare. Oh my god, there you are. You come here, you! Get back here! I don't think I have enough time. I don't think I can get it. Dang it. I missed it. See, that's what I'm d I like. Uh, I don't have enough time to catch it going the other direction. But what do I do about that? This is the worst mechanic. I'm sorry. I... Oh. It's very frustrating. 
You can't go very fast or else you'll get hit by cars. You can't go slow or else you won't be able to catch the cars that you need. Okay, 32 type R. <sighs> I can't believe you have... You have pumped up my car to an absolutely ins insanely ridiculous level. And yet, apparently I still need more speed. You have, I have used the Wakazu through every, I've used the Wakazu through every bit of this game in order to get the best possible car I can get. And yet, it's not enough. Is that like just the metaphor of this game? Like, is that the point? Because the whole thing about this game is that more speed, the speed is not enough, you need more speed! At first I leaned into it, but now I'm a little bit worried. Heck. <laughs> I wish you could pop wheelies like in the arcade racers. Boom! All you gotta do is double tap the gas. That's how it works in a real car, right? You just double tap the gas and it goes and it like pops up the front. <laughs> Unfathomable! I am out of tea! Well, after I race the next car, I'm gonna go grab some tea. There you are. I can't catch it. I literally cannot catch this orange car. I might as well not even try. I can't accelerate fast enough to catch it. They limit my acceleration on the highway. And now it's already gone! God! Alright then, I have an idea. I'm gonna try to go hang out in the middle. If I go hang out in the middle of the highway, I should have enough time to turn around and catch people that go the other direction. In fact, I'm not even gonna try it. I'm not even gonna try it. I can't catch him. I can't catch him. This better be the one I'm looking for. This better be the one I'm looking for. Highway star? That doesn't sound right. Is this right? Oh my god, thank you! Alright, JoJo's, let's just you and me. Come on! Show me what you've got in a pure battle of speed! Because I will be taking yours! Your speed is mine! Give me your speed! I desire your speed! You foul wretch! Evading me so that I can't steal car parts from you. Unbelievable. There it is. There's my prize. The Tomahawk! Yeah! Oh, baby. That's what I wanted. 
Hey, Caballo! Alright, I will stretch and chill us a second. Some very light yogs. Guess I'm gonna replace the tough guy. What does the tough guy do? 45% acceleration at 4,500 to 7,500. And then this is... The tomahawk is, I believe, 60? At 45 to 7,500. All right. 921, 110. 966, 113, baby! Yeah! Everybody, give a round of applause to Hazu for giving me the information that I need in order to make my car absolutely unstoppable. Thank you, thank you. She's the greatest. So now I'm gonna get up and go do some light stretching. Everybody up, and help. I'm glad to. Everybody up, it's stretch time. Stretch your fingers up to the ceiling and dig your toes down to the floor. Mmm, baby. Really stretch out your arms, torso, legs, all those good muscles to make sure that you get the proper blood flow. Oh man, especially if you've been sitting for a long time like I kind of have. You've been about two and a half hours. Yep. All right, bend down and touch your toes. Stretch out them calves and hamstrings. Oh, and now that I've got the piece, I'm gonna go grab me some tea. I'm gonna boil me some water. So I'll be back in just a few minutes. Turn! <laughs> Alright, well let's keep